Good morning, welcome back everyone. Um, I just met my new friend Chris over here and we've challenged each other to a bass fishing contest this morning. How long have you been bass fishing for my friend? 20 years. 20 years, holy oh, shit, nice. Well I've been doing it for a year now so I'm hopeful, hopefully going to learn something today. Um, I've only learned things for the past two years. Though. Okay, so he's got two years of legit experience then. We were chatting at the boat launch and uh, he knew some stuff about bass fishing contests, uh, the local ones, and since I'm looking to do that next year, uh, we got to chatting, and next thing you know, we are we're going head to head. We're gonna see who can. What do we do? Like a best of five? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we catch. Yeah, one. We'll, we'll we'll catch. We'll both catch five for sure. <laughs> All right, sweet. Well, let's do this. We're starting with a jig here. Oh yeah, that would have been big, right there at the intro. Yeah, I think I've lost two lures right there. That always looks like a, a sweet spot to throw something, but. Go ahead and cast, I won't blow it up. No, you're good. <laughs> All right. Is the universe just telling me no jig today? Last time I was out and fishing with a jig here, I thought I caught a big bass, went and set the hook, and I just set it into whatever log or stump that I got stuck on. And it was lost forever. I found that most often if I start off my first cast with doing something like catching a bunch of weeds or losing a lure, that's going to be a good day. Catch a fish on the first cast, not so much. You got a scale or a measuring board on you? I got a board. Nice, perfect. I got a scale in case you catch that six pounder, we can uh, nice, we'll measure them up. I mean, when you catch the six pounder. I think it's supposed to be pretty nice today. Just like cloudy and then rain is supposed to happen at maybe five. Hopefully that cloud in front of us is not changing its mind on that. All right, you're calling the next move. I'm gonna throw on a little, uh, a little chatter bait instead of the jig. It's really popular, I never have enough of it. I've only ever caught one fish on one. Yep. Yep. Today's the day though. I saw a video title about using them in the fall and uh, didn't watch the video. And I don't know where that video is based out of, but that's enough for me. Yeah, I'm going off the water clarity. I just feel like maybe a little yo-yo action with this might do it. keep strolling along the bank or you get the next choice of spot if you want i really like that little stretch in between that big lay down and that big lay down yeah i'm down yeah, i think i think it's time for a move we gotta find ourselves a fish yeah we do i'm a big fan of it of course right after i bought this one it came out with like the new titan like 10 yeah Swivel seat and everything. Oh, I want like, that. Yep, yep, yep. A lot yep. more built to like, like I gotta, I gotta custom make some stuff to be able to front mount a motor on this. Yeah. Oh, I want a motor so bad. Yeah. Especially on some of the bigger lakes. Mm -hmm. Let's try this guy. Oh, I cannot wait until we both get on a fish at the same time. It's a lot of fun making a video when you catch a lot of fish. When you don't, it's uh, it's not very fun. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. I think I just did the most lure changes per minute just now. Than <laughs> oh, I'm constantly telling myself to stop. I try to like, I'll make a change here and there. No matter what though, I'm keeping the drop shot tied on. I'm keeping the jig tied on. Yeah, yeah. I got my finesse jig on now, so. There you go. Yeah, I gotta start practicing taking photos with my phone. I, I still haven't done that yet. 
but that i mean it like it just looks like it could be so easily go wrong you will have a fish flop off your board yeah it happened to me first tournament oh at bank slave the only large mouth i caught and easily the biggest fish i caught no 17 inches and i got it there just in time and it just whoop flop straight into the water so then i actually i have this same net yeah but the handle's bent so I can wedge it in here, so I have the net sitting here. So at least there's a little bit of a, a fail safe. I, I think like at least three of the times I've had the fish, I've almost lost one, but I just know that trying to balance getting that phone out and everything is like, that's just gonna be. All right, this is my favorite spinner bait and I only have one, so. <laughs> yeah, throw it right in there. Oh God. Hey, oh, what? Uh. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Drop shot. Hell yeah. Uh, we are we doing 12 inch minimum? That one should make it, right? <laughs> Whatever this one is. Yeah. Minimum, right? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. It might be 12. Yeah, I think that that's that's 12 and a half. Almost squeezed 13. Out. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, 275. Is that what it is? Yeah, we'll call it 275. Oh yeah. If you get photos, so I'll, maybe I'll practice photos today too. That'd be sick. Yeah, dude, we finally got on a fish. Nice. Yeah, man. What'd you catch it on? Was that the... The drop shot, I... This, uh, people's worm is the color. It's the robo worm. Yeah. Um, it's a six inch, but I ripped like two and a half inches off of it because it just felt like too big for how cold it is. Yeah. Well, that was a good call. Yeah. Nicely done, sir. First one on the board. All right. We are three hours into a fishing tournament. We'll probably be fishing till, let's see, it's 107. Probably got about three and a half hours more, I think, we'll, I got to put into this. I've got zero fish on the board so far. Chris has got one at the 13.75, I think, or 12.75. I already put the photo up in the video for you, but so far I am struggling. The lures that I, I wish I would have brought my, uh, spinning rod but that thing's due for some new line that thing's got all sorts of problems going on right now so we're stuck with the two bait casters today not leaving us really with something to throw any finesse stuff with but spinner bait should still be able to make some magic happen and I got the finesse jig on the other one I've been throwing that hasn't had anything happen yet either but I am confident we're gonna be able to make a fish happen we are due. There's a big blow up over here. Really? I wasn't able to get him though. In the pad? Yep. I know it'd be a big move, but I think we should maybe try that lily pad patch down on the end. I've had a lot of luck when the wind's all blowing into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do it. Should be an easy run down there. The wind will bring pretty much bring us there. Yeah, I think with the wind hitting it right now, it just might be the thing to do. All right, we're down at the spot where all the fish were. Last time it was this windy. Hopefully we're able I am able to start getting some fish on the board.
world. I got one. Feels like a good one. Yes. It is a good one. Spinner bait. Right in the lily pads. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a solid fish right there. All right, I'm gonna try to get my first photo of one of these guys here. He's a good one. Yes, thank God. I was like, I gotta catch that fish today, man. Ugh. Sixteen? Mm, yeah, sixteen and a half. Oh, maybe more. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, we're close his mouth. Close his mouth. We are seventeen and three quarters. It looks nice. like just shy of eighteen. A good one. Hell yeah. Mmm, two, seven, three. That's a chick too, man. Yeah, it is. Look at that guy, dude. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> He's long. There it is. Long arm him to hell. <laughs> Sweet. All right, bud. You get back in the water. Thanks, yeah, I'm so happy to caught him. <laughs> Sweet, I got a photo and I didn't lose him. I was like, all right, here we go. I was trying to balance everything. Yeah. Wind's blowing me into the lily pads. Especially my hands are this cold. I'm like, I don't know if I even got a good grip on you. Fish on the board. Maybe time to call it on this spot. I've ran through it quite a few times now. Yes, I did catch one big fish here. Maybe that doesn't mean anything. Got another. Ooh. Feels like another good one. Nice. Nah, and maybe 14, 13. If that. Thirteen. All right, another one on the board. All right, we're getting some fish now. I was just about to give up on this spot, but now, what does that mean? Yeah, I was just about to. Oh, we're good. We're good. I was just about to uh, call it over there, and then that 13, and I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> now that's two over there. All right, we've got about an hour left in this tournament. We have been fishing for five hours now, so it's about a total of a six hour tournament. I got two fish on the board. I got one just shy of 18 and a 13 incher, which is at 31 inches. Chris has one on the board. 
and I think his was just shy of 13. It was 12.75. Anything could happen in this last hour. All right. It's just so windy, I don't see any need in throwing this finesse jig anymore. I don't think he's gonna make anything happen. I think I put the right one on there. Which one is this? This is the Spro Fat Papa 70. I think he dives down to 10 to 15 plus feet. Let's see if we can. Still never caught anything on a crankbait. This would be a real cool time to do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Oh, I think it's just grass. I can reel up whatever it is. Yeah, I think you might be right. Oh, that would suck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank God. Probably my most expensive lure. <laughs> I'm not mega attached to it because I haven't caught anything on it yet, but still that would have hurt a little bit. Well, I got about a half hour left. Do you want to make one more move somewhere else and try another spot or? I'm down, man. Yeah? Yeah. Part of me is thinking that lily pad passage again just because I, I caught a couple there, but uh, I'd be down to try somewhere new too. Wherever you're down for. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back to the pads. Yeah? Yep. Woo! It's uh, it's looking good for me. Damn, he was barely hooked. It's like uh, 15. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'm at. I was at yeah, I think I was at yeah, 45. had a big bite. Damn it. All right, my friend, I'm going to have to call it at this at this hour. It was close, man. <laughs> That's finner bait in those lily pads. That turned it around. Yeah, it did. I am shocked at that pattern. Isn't that weird? That's a full-blown pattern. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is not, not the first time. This is like my third time having that happen yeah. coming here. Hey, it was awesome meeting you. That yeah, was you a, too, that was a hell of a contest. That was that was a good time, dude. It was a lot of fun. Um come on do it again. Yeah man. Text me your channel. I'll send you that picture of the fish. Yeah, yeah, send me that photo. I'll I'll, I'll throw that in the video. That'll be good. Yeah, I, I come out every Sunday and Wednesday, so I guess if uh, you ever got a Sunday you wanna come to do a rematch or fish it up, Definitely. I'll be down. Alright, that's the end of the video. Awesome tournament. Caught three fish, 45 inches. Uh, Chris caught one. It was a 12.75, I think. That's a W for me. Um, but that was awesome. I wasn't sure what I was going to be even filming today, so I'm pretty glad that we, we uh, met up and got into doing a little tournament. Made for a good time. Glad I caught some fish since the last couple times. It's been pretty rough. But with that, I got to get packed up. I got to go home, have some dinner, warm up. And thanks for watching. 
See you guys next time.